Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm a lifestyle writer for Hello. And this week on Royally Challenging, I'm going to be delving into the mysterious world of royal etiquette. Now for this task, I was kindly invited to attend an etiquette lesson with Grant Harold, who not only is an expert in grace and decorum, but was also a butler to the big man himself. Now Grant, aka the Royal Butler, was a member of the Royal Households for several years, not only working for King Charles and Queen Camilla, but also the Prince and Princess of Wales and the late Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip during his royal career. So there really was no one better to give me a lesson on how to behave correctly when enjoying an afternoon tea. Now, of course, I had to put into practice exactly what I had learned from Grant. So I headed to the landmark London where I enjoyed their high palms high tea in their stunning winter garden and put into practice everything I had learned. Etiquette is like a rule. It's a rule book, if you like. Manners is uh, every day how to behave. Holding a door open is being polite to somebody. Pulling a chair out for somebody is manners. Etiquette is how you sit on that chair, how you walk through that door, how you sit and hold your knife and fork, how you drink your tea, that's etiquette. So it turned out that walking with a book on your head isn't just storybook stuff. Grant told me that he was recently working with a royal princess on how to perfect her posture. That didn't faze me. I used to be a ballet dancer, so I feel like posture and conducting myself as I walk into a room is easy stuff for me. Where it went downhill is when we get to the eating. There's two ways of doing this. So for the chaps, I don't know why they say for the chaps, but this is just what I was taught, is that they would have the crease towards them and the opening away. For the ladies, you would have the crease away from you and the opening towards you. Do you know why you have the opening towards you? You pick up a corner, you can dab, get any mess, anything on there, and then you place it down and it's, it's hidden. And not only is it hidden, it's not going to go on your, on your dresses or your clothes. For a modern afternoon tea, obviously you normally have the champagne first and then you have your tea, and as I said, then you move on to your, your um, sandwiches. <laughs> Who stares like this and who stares like this? You're supposed to do it like this, a very gentle back and forward motion. Because if you do that, you're going to make noise, it's going to go everywhere. And then when you pick it up, you obviously pick up like this. Please don't do this. I always say you're not, you know, you might think you're a Michael Fish, but you're not testing the wind direction. So please keep the pinkies down. <laughs> Traditionally, you are supposed to cut them, and I kind of say that if you can cut them, if you want, you can break them. <laughs> the reality is, it's both. I have seen, at garden parties, I see 50-50. I have seen the cream on top, I've seen the jam on top. And the reason being, uh, the late Queen, as with the royal family, they're very diplomatic. They always try to do things uh, at their fair, and so one way is obviously Cornish, where you have the cream on top, and then you get Devon with the jam on top. So I always say, if you're going to be a good host or hostess, always do a mixture of both, and it stops any major family fallouts. The whole Harry thing would be avoided if they'd done that with the scones. Only just a couple of things with the cutlery. These can be used for almost everything. So you can use it for your sandwiches if you want to use it for your sandwiches. <laughs> but finger sandwiches are supposed to be picked up by the hands. So, if I'm being honest, it doesn't look like I'm going to be invited to King Charles's next garden party. But, what I will say is that rural etiquette is so much harder than it looks. Yes, I'll hold my hand up. It probably wasn't the best idea to wear a white blouse when one is a messy eater. However, I hope I made you proud, Grant, because I've definitely taken your lessons on board. Thank you for joining me for Royally Challenging. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other Royal Challenges and leave a comment in the section down below of what you'd like me to take on next. See you next time.